Don't buy one. I don't care. You ready to go do some boondock? Gotta be real careful. Hey, Bess, I'm gonna have to ask you to back up for your safety. racking up we're gonna be getting close to a thousand dollars on this trip but a lot of miles so we're about 110 miles away blue skies a little warm out nice breeze no hookups where we're headed so our days of being plugged in are over here for a couple days so now we just gotta get used to boondocking again All right guys you ready to go do some boondocking at the at the beach? Not on the beach, but near the beach. Yeah. I see you're thrilled. Just went in and got ice. I got ice mainly for the refrigerator because I want to have margaritas at the beach. And then I said, oh, I'll throw the extra in here. And Pat is like, don't we need more if we're not on shore power? And I was like, so she went in to get two more bags and uh, we'll get this thing cooling um, that'll give us a little over 20 pounds because there's about five pounds already in there this will hold dirty so Patty went to get more ice we'll get icy here cooling so I totally forgot we're gonna use this I'm telling you what this thing really keeps us comfortable when we're boondocking. docking I know people you know think it's a joke i guess i don't know not everybody some of you those of you that have bought them already know they work great so all right don't buy one i don't care but it keeps us cool now again remember it doesn't air condition your the trailer that didn't even make sense it doesn't air condition your trailer but it will keep you cool and truman and best love it they just sit right in front where the air will come out they love it so i had an email from sarah at icy breeze and um, she told me to be on the watch out. If you're going to watch the Olympics this summer in Tokyo, watch for these on the tennis courts. Apparently, Icy Breeze is going to be representing the good old US of A at the Olympics. So don't forget that these are American made down in Sweetwater, Texas. American owned, American made, and they're going to be represented. I don't know if you can see that back there, but you just got to be real careful. I might cut this a little tight. We'll get it. Oh, yeah, no problems. No problems. Now we just got to watch out the front. Somebody wants to turn in, so I should probably put the phone down. This is our site for the next two days. So we're about, I think, seven or eight miles south of Nags Head, North Carolina. We're in the Outer Banks. This is the National Park. This is one of the National Park campgrounds. This is called Oregon Inlet. There's three loops here, A, B, and C. A is tents only. That's the one right over there. We're in B, which I believe is non-electric. And then there is a C loop that has electricity. Quiet hours though are at 10 p.m. 
to 8 a.m. So then obviously you can't. Um, you can see there's a, there's a pretty good size class A in here. So most of these sites say reserved. So that tells you how busy they are. I see, uh, I see some big fifth wheels over there. So you definitely get some good size rigs in here. I want to say we're paying $26 a night maybe. And you can take trails over the dunes here and go out to the beach and the beach is pet friendly. So um, right now it's hot out, but there's a really good breeze and you can see who's loving the breeze. Now my only concern is if this window were to fall, it'll hit her in the face. So hey Bess, I'm gonna have to ask you to back up for your safety. Yeah, she's sticking out. I just, I'm, I worry about this window. Wish I had a way to support it. Oh, you know what? I might. I'll work on that here in a second. I just had an idea, possibly. Okay, I fixed it so best if she wants to hang out, I don't have to worry. So I've got this little extender that I use with my bugs off pads. You guys probably saw that video, bugs off. Man, I love those things. So when I get ready to wash the trailer, this bug, no match for my bugs off pad. But anyway. I'm using this to support this big stargazer window because I, I just worry if it comes down and hit her. So, or just scare the bejeebies. Is that a word? Bejeebies? Jeebie-jeebies? Eebie-jeebies? I don't know. Anyway, just so get scared. So, there we go. I'm always finding ways to use things in different ways. And we'll just wait till tomorrow because we get to add South Carolina, but after tonight we get to add North Carolina. So, more states. Um, here, I'll show you the back of our site. We've got a charcoal grill, and we have a picnic table, and we have sand. We just defunct the trailer from sand, and now we have more sand. So, good news is if I want to climb up, I don't have very far to jump and to back it all the way in to get. Uh, truck in you cannot um you have to have your all your vehicles on the asphalt here so we really do use our icy breeze you've probably seen it before already in videos we're using this this is quite the system i have going so we're running this tall fan off of little red um, we're repacking my clothes we've had issues with my um and so you can see i'm pulling 31 no, I'm pulling 35. I have it plugged into a 12 volt outlet. It's only putting in 31 watts right now, but it's almost treading. And then uh, Icy Breeze is running off of the lithium right now. Oh, and, and this little guy's running off of the USB off the lithium. And then here you can see batteries are still full at 13.6 and we're getting 5.8 amps of solar. So we're in pretty good shape. Whoa. You need to brush your teeth? Ooh, look at there, look at there, fresh kisses. They love them. This is Patty good. uses those so that I'll kiss her. <laughs> okay. Actually, the truth is she makes me use them if I want to kiss her. So. <laughs> hey, buddy. They love them. All right. You guys, you happy? So I love the Blackstone. We've had this thing for two years now. We use it RVing, we use it at home. My biggest complaint is when it's windy out like it is here, um, the wind wants to mess with the fire and it doesn't get as hot. Now I'm trying to use some foil, but obviously foil and wind don't really go together. I've heard they make some kind of little metal flaps you can put around. I think I'm going to look into that because it's just really hard. I'm trying to shield this here, but the wind's actually coming from this direction. And because I'm running off my propane, uh, I can't really go to the back of the trailer because I don't have enough propane hose. So just something now i guess technically i did bring the other hose if i wanted to pull a 20 pounder i could and take it around back but i don't want to do that so anyway tonight we're doing some uh, brats from whippoorwill farms and got some of more of their veggies going and that and then we're going to do one of their tomatoes and with some cottage cheese and that's going to be dinner tonight looking forward to trying these so sunset tonight. We're going to take the kiddos for a little walk here.
morning, everyone. We've driven all the way down to the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, only to find out that it's currently at the renovation center. But that is the iconic Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. We've been here once before. We were here with my dad and Delaney. So this is the first time for Truman and Best to aren't allowed obviously but that's okay but the actual lighthouse if it was open you can go up at 248 steps maybe they say if you have heart problems don't do it They do have a small gift shop, right, Patty? Yes, it's a nice little gift shop. Um, they got stuff about how they're trying to help preserve the turtles. An educational thing, which I'm always into. Uh, national park stuff, and then just some other uh, things about the area that you can get books and about pirates. And pirates? And, okay. Yeah, Arr. recipes. And Give stuff. us your best pirate. Arr. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Now it's time to go find something to eat. What do you got, Patty? This is what the crabby wrap. Avocado wrap. Yep. Mm -hmm. It gives you a little tortilla chips that come with it. Yep. And then we got a, a salad. salad with a shrimp. shrimp. Mm -hmm. With ranch. And we're at the Buxton Munch. Yeah. Just down the street from the lighthouse. Right. So the place was rated number one on Yelp for this area. So I can see why based upon how good this stuff looks. Yeah. Let's see if this crab. Holy crabby patty. <laughs> you know, normally I don't like crabby patty because she's crabby. <laughs> she's crabby. <laughs> I knew you were going somewhere with that. <laughs> I, I don't think I set that up quite right, but Yeah. And there yes, folks, I have to be stuck in this truck with her for probably another three thousand miles. So I probably should be nice. Yeah. And look, you have an audience. <laughs> I know. Really? Yeah, what do we get for lunch? Good morning, everyone. This weather is crazy. It's like fall has arrived here in the Outer Banks. It's actually chilly out and windy. So we went from super hot on this trip to my favorite type of camping, fall camping. I don't know how long these temperatures will stay moderate, but I'm going to enjoy them while I can. Good morning, Bass. You enjoying your, your morning your morning treat? Uh huh. Yeah. So we're going to get around here this morning and pack up head up to Ocean City. We got a couple stops to make along the way. And then we're gonna go see some family.